Hello, everyone, and thank you so much to uh, Dean Doyle and the Graduate Division for having me here today. And welcome to this year's Grad Slam contestants. Uh, it's really exciting to see how much participation and interest in this event has grown in just one year. Uh, one year ago, we were in a tiny office that was just big enough for whoever was speaking and the three judges. So this is kind of a big upgrade for us. And it's, it's pretty hard to believe that was just a year ago that I was pacing up and down Bancroft talking to myself and like checking my watch every two seconds to make sure I wouldn't go over my three minutes, right? Uh, but a lot has happened since then. Uh, so right after the Grad Slam finals in Oakland, Grad Studies connected each of the campus finalists with an editor from the online magazine, The Conversation, which gave each of us the opportunity to share our research with yet another, even broader audience, uh, this time written down and outside of the three minute time limit. And then a few months after my piece appeared in The Conversation, I was contacted by an environmental news writer with Grist who wanted to do a blog post on my research. So she shadowed me in the field for a whole day. Uh, we bust around Oakland together and climbed up on elementary school rooftops so she could watch me repair my air quality sensors. And that's pretty much the closest I'm going to come to having my own paparazzi, so that was pretty neat. Uh, but in addition to my light brush with blogosphere fame, Grad Slam also opened the door for me to further develop my skills as a science communicator. So last summer, I was invited to attend the annual Communicating Science Workshop hosted by Harvard and MIT every year, where I met with science journalists and professional bloggers and YouTube stars and podcast hosts who gave me really valuable feedback on my work and also shared some of their own tips for bringing rigorous, cutting-edge research to the general public. And I learned that there's a whole thriving community of folks out there who share our passion for telling stories and who are waiting to welcome us into the fold with open arms when we're ready, when we're finally done with graduate school. So it's great. Um, and Grad Slam and the subsequent experiences that I had because of it didn't just make me a better communicator, uh, they made me a better researcher as well. Um, as a graduate student, it's all too easy for me at least to get hyper-focused on that one particular corner of that one particular subfield, that my process can become myopic and somewhat depressing sometimes. And I mean, how many weeks have I spent rereading the same infinite loop of self-referential papers written by the same five professors just trying to figure out the best possible approach to that one tiny detail, right? And don't get me wrong, details are very important, and attention to detail can be the difference between a great project and a good project. But for me, the, the difference was really being able to zoom back out to the big picture, to snap me out of those habits that were getting me nowhere, and really find that new approach that would break my project open. And so for me, Grad Slam's greatest gift was the gift of the big picture. And when you only have three minutes, all of those little details kind of start to fall away. And what you're left with is that priceless perspective on the so what of your research. And that's not only enlightening, it's kind of flattering. Like you get to see your work in its leanest and meanest form and not have all of those caveats and error bars that we as grad students get kind of bogged down underneath. And what's left is something that you can really be proud of. Uh, so it's truly an honor to be standing here in the presence of so many great researchers. I mean, from the first day I arrived on Berkeley campus, it felt like this giant throbbing brain of work ethic and intellectual energy. And so even though I'm sure what a lot of you are feeling right now is nervousness, I would like you to take a moment at this time to instead feel pride in everything that you have accomplished up until this moment and everything that you're about to share with us here today. So be bold and don't be afraid to show off. And of course, go Bears. Thank you.